and we're back here at Facebook Live. Hope you'll get back with us here and uh, ask questions, ask Mina and Gigi anything. Now, yeah, they can ask you anything. No. Let's uh, give them a chance to get back. So, um, yeah. So uh, we're back. Grant is back. And Darlene is back. They're, they're all coming oh, back. They're running back. Oh, they were crying. And our they were, loyal nephew. They were, <laughs> they were uh, Reg is oh, back. Oh, there's Austin Fields. He's watching. Hey, Austin. All right, so Reg is back. And then, hey, Chris, uh, he says. Hi, Chris. Hi, Austin. Glad you're watching. And uh, we're here at Dahlonega with our moms, about to see 42nd Street. And this is Ask Mina hey, and Troy. Gigi Anything. So we're going to wait for a question. All right. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we will have uh, the uh, musical portion of our show. We'll come over here to Mina and Gigi because uh, they know some of the songs. Uh, now, one of the songs, our favorite songs from uh, 42nd Street is We're in the Money. So, um, so let's see, how does that go? How, how's that? I can't remember how that goes. We're in the money. We're in the money. We've got a lot of what it takes to get along. We're in the money. We're in the money. Let's lend it, spend it, send it rolling along. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. it's my mom and Rumble. What a beautiful, melodious tone. That was unreal. Oh, Reg has a question. Hey, okay. Reg has a question for both of you. All right. Should the president tweet more or less? Gigi, should the president tweet more or less? The president should quit tweeting everything. Okay, there you have it. The president should quit tweeting everything. Let's see, let's let Mina weigh in. Mina, should the president tweet more or less? Well, I'm going to have to differ with Gigi because I love the tweets and keep it coming. Now... Let's make sure that you, we uh, did go over the rules with the ladies that if they differed, there would be no fisticuffs. No <laughs> hair pulling, no at, eye gouging. At this point, no, it's not necessary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. So one says he should stop twinning, one says he should keep it up. Uh, there's Ellen Bender. Uh, he said, uh, she says, do we ever think of Clarkson Baptist Church? All the time, Ellen, we think about the great folks at Clarkson Baptist Church. Grant Rumble says, nice vibrato, Mina. And, oh, Austin Fields has a question. What is that? That's when you do that. Oh. <laughs> so, Austin Fields has a question. Reg says, love it. Great answers. He, he approves of both answers. All right. And uh, Austin Fields has a question. What are, your, what are your thoughts about the presidents? Now, there's been, let's see, what is uh, Trump? Is he 45, 46, yes. 45? So, this is going to take a while. So, we're going to start with George Washington. <laughs> And uh, so, so you have about one second for each president. So, ready, George Washington, father of our country. Okay. John Adams. Oh, good movie about him. Oh, okay. We have a, okay. a question from Troy Hayes. Oh, Troy Hayes. What's the question, Kathy? Will you ship me some fried chicken from the Smith House? Will you ship him some fried chicken from the Smith House? Mina, are you up for it? Uh, do they ship? <laughs> Who is this asking me? Troy Hayes is asking Troy, if, I'd, if I'd, you I'd... will ship him some chicken from the Smith House. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a no, Troy. Let's go over here to Gigi. Maybe you'll have better luck. <laughs> Gigi, will you ship Troy Hayes some chicken from the Smith House? Troy, I have a better idea. Where are you located? <laughs> Troy, where are you? Where are you, buddy? <laughs> He's in Alabama. He's in Alabama. So uh, could we not just meet at the Smith House and there enjoy we go. Oh, Troy. the chicken and all the fixings? Troy, there you Worth have it. Trip. Right here on Tell Facebook Troy Live. You were in the first marching band at Southwest Decab. <gasps> Troy, she was in the very first marching band at Southwest Decab. She was a major red. There you go. And she's, You're looking at her. Sounds like she's asked you out on a date as well, Troy. So, uh, did Troy go to Southwest again? Troy did go. He, he was a, he was a, oh, what a drum sweet. major, I think, Kathy right. said. Smart boy. There you yes. go. We even had to make our own uniforms, Troy. We were so poor. But we loved it. Loved every minute of it. Awesome. Let's see. I think we've got another question. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Darlene Crenshaw says, the country should take a lesson from these sweet ladies who know how to disagree civilly. Very good. Reg Griffin says, that was a song from 44th Street. <laughs> will, you, will you sing me the fried chicken? <laughs> will, you, will you ship me some? That was one of the songs from 41st Street. Will you ship me some chicken? From the Smith House. Ooh, that was a, a, a good, uh, oh, Sarah Hopkins is watching. Troy Hayes says Jacksonville, Alabama, and he's on his way, and he said, she's hot. <laughs> there you go, Gigi. This could be your lucky night, or his lucky night. What are they doing? Christopher it's McKinney. Tomorrow, Gigi. <laughs> it's, she's on board, Troy. She's on board. Tomorrow. Get get driving, buddy. Chicken. All right. Chicken every Sunday. So, so let's see. We're coming down close to the production of 42nd Street. What, what, we what, what, what's the time? We've got 16 minutes, so we got time for another question or two if you have it for these lovely ladies. And uh, let's see, Reg says, uh, oh, Reg says this is like the love connection. So, really? so we have a love connection here yeah. tonight. Or even better, he says, Dean Lancaster is watching. And this is Ask Mina and Gigi Anything, Dean. It's our moms. We're taking them to see the, 40, the, the production of 42nd Street here in Dahlonega. And meanwhile, we're uh, spending time asking Mina and Gigi anything. So, uh, Kathy, um, so uh, are you excited about this, uh, this uh, production of 42nd Street? Very excited. Oh, Grant has a question. Grant. What are your favorite musicals? Favorite musicals? Uh, Gigi, what's the first one that comes to mind when you're when uh, when you're asked um, what are your favorite musicals? Has to be Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Oh my goodness. Well, Mom, how about you? How about you, me? What, what's your favorite musical? Well, first I want to comment okay. on Gigi. I did not right. know she was such a good flirter. Oh yeah, she's big time. I'm gonna take last Big time. <laughs> <laughs> I got so many favorite musicals, Singing in the Rain, Phantom of the Opera, Les Miserables, uh, many, 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 many more. I love them all. I love them all. And I can attest to that. We had all the albums, and uh, as a young boy, I even enjoyed listening to this, those albums. Uh, we, had them, we had them all. Oh, Reg Griffin has a question, and uh, Susan Pace Foster is watching. And uh, Grant says that's his favorite as well, uh, yeah, Gigi, Phantom yeah. of the Opera, all the way. And Gigi says, uh, I mean, Greg has a question for you both. What do you admire most about Chris and Kathy? Oh, my goodness. They're going to have to think about this one. For, so we'll, 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 we'll give you ladies about 10 minutes to think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, we'll come back over here to Gigi. Oh, so okay, answer. this is this is a lo answer. this is uh this is kind of embarrassing for us because you know we're so humble and we're we don't think we can stand to hear this. But uh, Gigi, what what do you uh, what's your answer to Reg's question? Well, I think the fact that they found each other. Well, that is true. In a fact, marriage made in heaven. Yeah. In fact, uh, we were here in Gustavo's Pizza, and in come this uh, group of about 15 counselors uh, from Camp Glisten, college-age kids, and they came into Camp Glisten, and uh, we had to engage them because uh, when I was 15, Kathy was 14, we met uh, here at Camp Glisten up in just outside of Dahlonega, and uh, she, uh, she chased me. She uh, couldn't keep her hands off me. It was embarrassing. And it's been that way for another for, since then, for how many years now? About 43 years since that time. So uh, about 42, maybe. Yeah, it, it was a church retreat, so uh, the counselors had to tell her to well, control 40, herself. 1977. Control herself, but uh, <laughs> I got some demerits. But oh well. <laughs> Too much PDF. Yep. But uh, that's how it all started. Camp Glisten. But uh, we'll come over here to Mina. And uh, what is it, Mina, that you admire most about? Chris and Kathy. Just your whole relationship and the fact that y'all did find each other. And I think we owe that to my oldest son, Butch, and his wife, Amy, who got them together. Butch was their uh, youth leader at church. And that's how they got together. And Kathy uh, did not know how to take Chris at the time. But she soon learned and made the best of it. That is exactly true. I can remember before that retreat, Amy said, uh, 
that she knew I didn't have a girlfriend as usual. And she said, <laughs> she said that she thought I should look into Kathy Cooper. And I looked over the church balcony at the gym there. And there she was down there with a little Southwest cap cheerleading jacket on. I said, hmm, yeah, she's pretty cute. And then I started working. History. Now, Dean, last, now uh, Dean Lancaster wants to know what's your version of the retreat. Oh, meeting. my version of the retreat. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's oh, get down to the truth. I met him. Well, my first impression of him was uh, when we were snipe hunting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he had all the great moves, snipe hunting. It's so fast, and he caught the most. And uh, I guess it was love at first snipe hunting. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Fields wants to know when I'm coming back to Ohio. Dude, tell them to invite me. Get on those teachers. Tell them that I want to come back. I'm, I'm ready to come as soon as school cranks up. And uh, you've already answered Dean's question. And let's see. Uh, Troy Hayes says, found each hey other? Gosh. My gosh. Scared of where you were slumming to find Chris. Lars <laughs> <laughs> Joan is watching. And uh, Susan Paul Susan Paul says, he caught more than just snipe. That's ah! exactly right, Susan. And that's where we're going to end it right yes. there. Oh, my goodness. I was not just catching snipe. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. We, uh, I caught the big prize on that <laughs> retreat. So, Gigi, uh, Gigi, Mina, time to say goodbye. we got to get down here to the production of 42nd Street. Say goodbye, Gigi. Goodbye, everyone. Just nice to hear and see you. Very good. Mina. Bye, y'all. Come see us. There you go. Have a great night. It's uh, signing off here from Uncle Chris and Aunt Kathy. We love you. See you later. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.